Good morning, good morning, guys. Welcome to another beautiful sunny day in Kissimmee, Florida. There's a big Kissimmee. mermaid. Kissimmee. You always say it wrong. You Nico, get picked up on it. Nick always thinks that mermaid looks like a man in drag. It does. Um, so it's a beautiful day. It's a Sunday for us. Uh, we have one week and one day left before we fly home. Oh, no, don't say things like that. <laughs> so today we're going back to Typhoon Lagoon. It's probably the last time <laughs> we'll, we'll go there um, because we have some exciting new things coming up in a few days. We're going to St. Augustine, we're going to Kennedy Space Center, Cocoa Beach, things like that. So we're having a chill day today. We're going to Typhoon Lagoon, Disney Springs, and then tonight we have Halloween Horror Nights. And we just heard as well that our friends Chris and Jen are coming back for our last weekend. Yeah, so uh, we should be seeing them later on in the week. So, Nick is going to get us to Typhoon Lagoon and uh, we may partake in some snacks at Typhoon Lagoon today. Yeah, we've got our beer cups. We're yeah. going to go in for a couple of hours just, yeah, to, just, to chill. just to chill out and get over the hangover from Senor Frogs last night. Yep, and then uh, over to Disney Springs where I'm looking forward to hopefully getting on the balloon or, 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 and Continue the floating car. Look how cute that bus is, Nick. It's got yeah. Olaf and it's got... Um, oh, it's going, It's coming uh, from Typhoon uh, Lagoon as well. Oh, yeah. And above it, the Skyliner gondolas are going. Nobody on them, though. No, probably nobody on them. They're still testing them. Lots of Disney transport buses around this morning. I don't get how can they be testing them when they've tested them for six months. Mm. Testing them more is not going to make them fail again. Mm. Um, Unless they fix something. So... We're going down there, you can just see the balloon for Disney Springs, which hopefully we might get on today. But we're going right for Typhoon Lagoon. And it's actually um, Columbus weekend, so we're hoping, fingers crossed, it's not too busy at Typhoon Lagoon. Which opens in three minutes. So just in case anybody doesn't know, there is Disney Springs on the left. So if you're going into Disney Springs, you turn left here, just um, in front of Cirque du Soleil. And Typhoon Lagoon is right here. Literally, walking distance yeah. if you wanted to park in one. Yeah, walk walk across the other. Right so Lagoon, that's why. Right mm. Lagoon. Count. That's why we're uh, planning on going to Disney Springs after we've had a couple of hours chilling at Typhoon Lagoon. So here we are. Oh, it's busy, 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 busy. Right, we're in. So it's time to run and find a bed. Right, we found a right little gem. So if you're going to Typhoon Lagoon, turn right, head right towards the back of the park, find the Typhoon Lagoon snack shack, snack shack, which is actually closed, but we ate there in um, March, and then go right to the back, behind the restrooms, and there's two cabanas, one here and one here. Completely deserted area. If you're looking for it, there's a big ship that's upside down. It's behind there to the right hand side. And we always say it, bring a pillow to Disney's water park. And we forgot again. Yeah. So we're back to put my head on. They don't tilt. However, you've got the logs behind you. You could sit and put your head on them, really. So we're just waiting for the folks. And they're going to bring some towels. We've just washed all these down um, and wiped them all. And we're in a perfect location for snacks and drinks. Go get me one then. No. Right, Nick's come back from getting towels with a Joffrey's um, donut. And it's one of those massive ones. So. Here's my bit that he's left me. Is that a bite? That's what's left of it. Bite. And where's my iced coffee that I asked for? On floor. It's going cold. Iced coffees don't go cold. Give it half hour, it'll be freezing. What's that you were just saying, Auntie Brenda? No, I'm not going in the wave pool, and I'm not going up that big thing with them rings. I'm you said relax, you to go wave relaxing pool. today. You said you wanted to go in wave pool. I'm not getting wet, I'm going to Disney Springs. I'm not getting wet through. What's that got to do with price of fish? I'm looking like a drowned rat again. So Lee is having a little sleep now. I'm sleeping, I'm meditating. Oh, and his sleeping, there we go. So we found another little hack today. So as we said, we found these cabanas. So um, just I've walked around trying to orientate me, myself more. And um, 
it's two secret cabanas that are hidden behind um, some restrooms and a snack hut. So if you know in Typhoon Lagoon, if you turn right when you come in, find the restrooms behind the, the, the Typhoon Lagoon snack shack and then there's some, there's some crossbones of a shark's mouth. There's a building there, directly behind the building towards the back of the park, there's these two hidden secluded cabanas fully equipped. These, these should actually be ones that they rent out really. So when we were here, some lady came up and says, oh, somebody's got my secret spot. So like, yes, move on love. Anyway, another hack. So to get free towels, you usually have to pay $2 if you're a non-Disney hotel guest. So what you do is you tell the shop when you go and collect your towels that you're actually staying on Disney property. And they don't check your magic band. They don't check your magic band, but if you, um, I mean, we've done that twice now. But what you should do is just take your magic band off and put it in your pocket and just say that your your band and your card is actually back at your, your so sun lounger. You I said I was staying at Wilderness Lodge. <laughs> which is technically true. I've stayed there yeah. Week, so. so I wasn't lying. It's just a it's just a slip of tense. Just, so obviously there today, we'll there last week. Obviously it's up to you guys if you tell them that you're staying in a Disney resort or not, but uh, we were. We and we got us with like two that. towels. We can't, don't, don't come down things like that. Yeah, but we're not stealing them. We just do it. We're not stealing them. We're just stay not. In the Wilderness Lodge, so that, that, my, yeah, we stayed in the Wilderness Lodge, and we've got the free towels for our yes, stay. My conscience is clear because we have stayed in the Disney. Well, Park. you didn't even go and get them. That's why. So anyway, free towel trick. Right, we're heading out. So we just thought we'd show you on the uh, map where we've just been. So you come in, and you go around there to the Jaws Teeth, and it was behind there, behind wasn't it? Behind these, behind yeah. this building here, there's two cabanas right at the back there. Yeah, that was perfect. They're not even on this map, no. but they are there. Yeah. And there's like a, a boat here yeah. on its on its belly. Right, we're heading to Disney Springs now for a snack and maybe go up the balloon. Come on then. Let's go. Right, so we're just driving out of um, Typhoon Lagoon, straight across into the car park there, and we're at Disney Springs. So it is actually walking distance. Walk so across this road, No, right? it's not. there's nowhere to actually cross it. So we're going to go to Surface Parking, because that's the one that um, is next to Cirque du Soleil, and as well as where you do with the Virgin um, check-in as well. In fact, the, the trucks might actually still be there for Virgin check-in. And it's absolutely red hot. It, it's so hot today. I've done about five minutes in the sun, and I couldn't do it. I had to go back in the shade. I've been sat in the shade as usual, but it's very, very warm. Too warm. 30 seconds later, we're here. I always like to park next to the security towers that you see all over Disney parking as well as in the parks. Not for any reason other than that that it's just somebody's, over, just somebody's actually just watching your car. There's never been an issue. Should I put this one on today? Yeah, you look at it in that every hat. No, I'll put me not one on. <sighs> right, so there's the Disney Springs check-in. So if you have booked a Virgin Holidays or you're flying premium or upper class, I believe it's premium and upper class, definitely upper class, you can check into Disney Springs for free. If you're on a Virgin Holidays, you get it. You get it included. Otherwise, the charge is ten dollars. And this week, this day, next week, we'll be there. Oh, gotta say things like that. So we're just walking in. Lee's gonna try and get us onto the balloon. We have tried and tried and tried. We tried about three times in March. We couldn't get on it because when we were here, the the height wind was too much to keep the balloon running. So it wasn't running. But we've seen it quite a lot this week, haven't we? Yeah. I need a wee first before we go up in the air. Naturally. Right, we're in Disney Springs, so uh, House of Blues singing away there. Um, it's not too busy so far. Um, Nick's just put in an Instagram post of where we are. We've just met some lodgers coming out of Typhoon Lagoon. Hi guys, if you're watching. Uh, it's the same guys we met yesterday at uh, Coronado Springs. Back today. Yeah, yes, they met back to me today. Uh, so we're just having a mooch. We're going to head towards the um, balloon, see if it's running. Then find the parents, see if we can get any of them on it. And uh, go up. Yay, yay, yay. It's running. Oh, it's, it's a lot bigger than it looks when you actually get close to it. Right, so I've just got to phone the folks and uh, tell them to head here so we can get Batterby on there. And then we'll go up it. Right, Nick's just paying for the balloon. It's $20 each and you've got to sign a waiver um, for if anything goes wrong. Like for if that cable snaps there and we end up on the moon. So it's up there now. My dad's been in the queue, but now he's seen it going up. He doesn't think he's going on. So let's go in the queue. And we're on the next one. Did you explain we've got to sign a waiver yeah. and a photo tech that said if we die we won't sue? <laughs> if that cable snaps, I wonder where we'll end up if it snaps. I would say International Space Station. My dad's not looking too impressed. He's looking up at the balloon. Like a meerkat looking up at it. He doesn't like heights. He's watching intensely at the cage. <laughs> He's only got about a minute left. Oh, he's not going on. 
He's chickened out. Yeah. Who's coming on and who's chickened out? Come on, Matty B. <laughs> I'm a hero. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it now. It moves about quite a bit up there from left to right. Hopefully there's a nice breeze that'll cool us down. Don't have to move about at all. I think it's coming down. Coming down now, moving from left to right. Are you excited? Very excited. Are you popping it? Have you got your contingency plan? Why do you always think that? Have you got your contingency plan for if that rope snaps? What's about knickers? <laughs> I've got a pair of shoes on the back. That's it. Oh, we're going on. Here we go, here we go. Boarding time. Come on, Nick. No. Get your ticket out for us. Oh, it's a nice breeze out here already. I hope there's a nice breeze up there. Yeah, me too. Thank you. <laughs> move around, Nick. Don't worry where you're at. Once we get off the ground a little bit, you'll be able to move around. So, while we're in motion, everybody hold on to the handrail, please. You will feel a little bit of motion as we take off here, guys. So, hold on, because here we go. Don't worry, I haven't lost anybody this week. Whoa. You're freaking out, you're not kidding. Today is Sunday. No joking, it's always the first time. <laughs> We have to start somewhere. <laughs> my science, the science in my mind is doing all the all maths right, guys, and working all the right My mind's just going wee. Now we're going to go up just a little bit faster. Ooh. You're going to feel one more small bump as we go into a higher gear. Now you can let go and walk around and check everything. Ooh, out. Let's go. Or you can stay where you're at. So over there is Saratoga Springs, which is a DVC hotel, which I'm sure would be very nice to stay in at some point. All down there is all the Minnie Mouse uh, Ubers, uh, sorry, lifts. Um, and then obviously down there is Disney Springs, so we'll go around there and hopefully get a, a better view. Down there. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my god. Oh, my god. Yeah. oh, there's Epcot Ball over there. Swan and Dolphin. Tower, Tower of Terror. Tower. Where's the star flyer? Where's the Cinderella's Castle? Cinderella's Castle. Uh, um, it's behind. Oh, it's behind the Contemporary Resort. Yeah. Oh, and another little bump. Oh, we're at the top now. Wait, ooh. Ooh. That's it. Let's get around. There's the Coca-Cola rooftop bar. If you are directionally challenged, there's a compass right down the middle. And I got no, I don't, I don't like looking down there. <laughs> Where's your dad? Is he uh, he's he's down there. there. He's waving, I think. Yeah. yeah. He's Where? looking up. He's taking photos. So I'm just having a walk around and um, looking at all of Disney Springs. Maybe we'll go to that sandwich place today, what I've seen on a lot of vlogs. What sandwich place? There's a sandwich place around there that do really nice sandwiches. The Polite Pig? No, no, no. I can't remember what it's called. Excuse me. Oh, Thank you. Sorry, excuse me. Oh, you can see that is the uh, I think it's, no, no, oh, there's Garandelli's chocolate. I forgot where it is. It's somewhere around there, really nice um, sandwich place, because we need to get some lunch. I like this, I like this. Very smooth, isn't it? Yeah. So you can see the star fly somewhere. I've just seen it, where is it? Uh, oh yeah, over there. And a better look at Saratoga Springs. Nick! Oh, that makes me nervous. <laughs> you told me to take photo. Oh, no, but I didn't mean put your hand out. Right, we're almost back down. Going down very fast. And then we get off, I'm going to go find a snack somewhere. You could have been, you'd have been driving that. You didn't feel like you were that ill. Good, it was good. 
stop at you. There's some things that you don't like. I'll what? do that about you with your Hulk. What? The Hulk. I've been on it. I'll do it again, but I don't like it. You liked it? Didn't you like that? You liked it? Yeah, you're good with that. Enjoyed I enjoyed it. Yeah. that. I did. Nice yeah. views. I wonder how many calories in that shake. <laughs> Black vanilla gelato, milk donut, waffle cone and whipped cream. So it's an ice cream, a donut and a, and a, shake. And a smoothie all in one. Wow. Can we have one? Maybe after us, we're going to find out what that sandwich place is called now. It's called Earl of Sandwich. Just heading over to Earl of Sandwich. I don't know how, exactly what this place is like, but I've seen it on a lot of vlogs on uh, Cal Pilo, and I'm sure I've seen Tim Tracker go there as well. Well, it will now be done Lodge Guy style. Which means... And if it's rubbish, we'll tell you. Exactly. I'm sure it won't be rubbish. I love a nice sandwich. Who's to bet that Lee gets turkey? <laughs> and the other good thing about Earl of Sandwich is on the way around, we have to press past the Christmas shop. Pass it correctly, yeah. So I can get one of those baubles that I've been on about for Christmas. We need a, a um, Disney Christmas bauble to be part of Vlogmas this year. It needs to be blue. It does. Right, this is the Earl of Sandwich and it's extremely busy, but we're gonna queue because we really want one. And yes, Nick is correct. I think I'm gonna go for turkey. Let me just, there we go. I think I'm gonna get the Earl's Club, which is turkey, bacon, Swiss lettuce, Roma tomato and sandwich. Uh, 710 calories. Which one are you going for, Nick? French dip, roast beef, Swiss cheese, sautéed onions, served with algiers, whatever that is. Whatever that is. So we've just got to get through this queue. Hopefully it'll go down quick. Right, we've got a sandwiches finally. I love how the wrapper in the Union flag. No, mine's oozing gravy and I've got this pot of gravy as Nick's well. Got pot of gravy with this beef sandwich. So I'm going to open these and I'll show you what they look like. Right, so I've got the Earl's Club, which is the turkey on wheat. Nick's got the roast beef one, which comes with, with the um, au jus, which, which is, is Bob Roll, basically. <laughs> oh, you're dipping it in. Well, I suppose that's, that's what you're going to do, innit? And we've got a um, frozen lemonade each as well. So how much was all that, Nick, for two sandwiches and two frozen um, lemonades? 20 something. So not too bad. Oh my god, it's delicious. Delicious. Absolutely delicious. <laughs> and the frozen lemonade is absolutely amazing. <laughs> That was the most amazing sandwich I've ever had in my life. That was Subway on steroids with a bit of Bob Roll. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. The meat was juicy. It was actually dripping from the, 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 the meat juice. Oh my God, it was amazing. It was gorgeous. Especially the... with the Swiss cheese going out, oozing out of it. I don't think I had cheese on mine. I had the Earl sandwich, I think, which was roast turkey, and it was absolutely amazing. And the frozen yogurt, uh, sorry, frozen lemonade was beautiful as well. That was amazing, actually. Just needed a vodka in it. I knew you'd find that fan handy in Florida. I'm not warm. I know. Dry my eyes. I know. Oh. Need to know again. Oh dear. Right, well I'm going to finish the vlog for today while Nick's doing that. We're just getting rid of Halloween Horror Nights, which we're going to put in, the, in its own vlog. Because um, we think it's going to be long. Um, unfortunately the folks aren't coming with us tonight because my dad my dad's leg and hip is really hurting for some reason. We presume from all the walking we've been doing, because we've been doing like 20,000 steps per day. But we have a second night of Halloween Horror Nights later on. Uh, next week, so they're going to come to that one instead. So, while Nick reapplies his My Perfect Eyes, not very perfect, we'll say goodbye. If you're not already subscriber, guys, please click on the subscribe button below to come along. Hit the like button and click the notification bell. We'll see you tomorrow for a new vlog, which should be Halloween Horror Nights. Say goodbye, Nick. Bye, Nick. Bye.